macOS Sequoia now has native window management and window tiling. So today we're gonna to talk about the three ways that you could take advantage of this on your Mac. So let's get into it. All right, so let's start with easy mode. Here, I've pulled up Safari on my MacBook. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this window and drag it to the left side of the window. So if I go over here, drag it over, you'll see this outline here. And if I release, it'll snap to that side of the window. You can also do this by hovering over the green box in the top left-hand corner, and you can select left, right, top, bottom. Let's go ahead and click bottom. Well, let's try it again and move it to the right here. Pretty self-explanatory. Let's open up another window. If I go and open up Finder here, you'll see my second window. I can do the same thing here and I can snap this to the left. But where this gets even cooler is using the arrange set of functions here. So if I, let's resize these windows just to show you how this is gonna work. If you hover over this green window, you'll see fill and arrange. If I choose the left and right, it will snap both windows to fill up the space. So the way how you get to these menus here is up in the window dropdown. So if you click window, you'll see here move and resize. Here is all of the various options. You've got left, right, top, bottom. You've even got quarters here. So if you wanted to do top right up there, Maybe let's go window, move and resize into bottom right here. So there's a lot of variations and options that you can just click and drag or use the green box or go ahead and go up to the window menu. You might have also noticed that when you have two windows side by side or tiled together, you've got this border here all the way around. Now you might like that, I personally don't. So the way how you fix that is you're gonna open up system settings you're gonna to scroll to desktop and dock, and we will scroll down here to windows, and you'll see tiled windows have margin. If we go ahead and uncheck that, now there is no border, and you can use those arrange tools, and you will no longer have borders anywhere. Okay, so that was easy mode. Let's take it up a notch and go to a medium level of difficulty. You'll see here if I jump up to the window menu and you click move and resize, we can see all of the keyboard shortcuts listed to do the halves and arrange window. So this right here is control and then the globe could be seen as globe or the function menu key and then an arrow. So if I go ahead and click those, I'll click function, control and the left arrow my window will snap. And you can do that for all of them, to the right, to the left, down to the bottom. You've also got the arrange keyboard shortcuts. And to do those, you use control shift function in an arrow. So if we go ahead and pull up our finder window here, if I use function, control, shift, and I use my arrows, you'll see that two windows together will snap and move. And you can do this with three, four windows, and they will all snap and move to fill the screen proportionally. Okay, so we've gone through easy mode with drag and drop. We've gone through the medium difficulty with keyboard shortcuts. But now let's talk about expert mode. What do you do if your keyboard doesn't have the globe or function button? If you've got an external keyboard, you might not have this option. So let's dive into the computer and talk about that. So here you can see I'm using my Keychron keyboard and I don't have a globe or a function key. So what I'm gonna have to do is make some changes here. So let's go ahead and move this window off to the side and let's open up system settings here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down to keyboard. We're gonna click keyboard shortcuts and we're gonna go down to app shortcuts. What this is gonna do is allow us to create a custom keyboard shortcut for any menu within macOS. As you can imagine, there's a lot of optional utility here, but we're gonna talk specifically about window tiling. So the way how this works, I'm gonna go ahead and click plus here, and it's going to apply to all applications, and we need to type the exact name of the menu command. So I know that in here, when I click on window, that move and resize, the menu is literally just called left, right, top, bottom. So let's go ahead and add those. So I'm gonna type left, and I wanna create a custom keyboard shortcut. So what I'm gonna do is control, option, command, and left. So if I go in and type that there, I can click done. 
and you'll see that that's now listed there. Let's go ahead and make another one and let's type right. I'm gonna do the exact same keyboard shortcut but with the right arrow. So we'll do Control, Option, Command, Right. And we will click Done. Once we click Done here, we go back over to our window menu and move and resize. We'll see that those two shortcuts now have a different keyboard shortcut that's required to operate them. So now when I'm using my Keychron keyboard, even though I don't have the globe or function key, I can do control, option, command, left arrow and right arrow, and I can take advantage of all those keyboard shortcuts and menu functions without having to use the exact ones that macOS predetermined. So that is everything that you need to know about window tiling and window management on macOS Sequoia. If you learned something new, leave it in the comments down below. And if I miss something, leave it down there too. I'd love to chat with you in the comments. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.